Hi, it's time for uh, looking at upgrading my home solar system, which uh, I'll link in some videos. I'm sure everyone's uh, seen it. They've been very popular. This is a uh, three kilowatt system. It's got 12 and 256, 250 watts. None of that uh, two to the power of uh, eight rubbish. Um, anyway, uh, 258, 12, 250 watt panels for a three kil nominal uh, three kilowatt system. And I've had this for like seven plus years now quite a long time and the only fault I've had with it is the uh, cobalt uh, well no the cobalt solar didn't this is the new one um, was the DC uh, isolator on the uh, roof that actually uh, failed didn't catch on fire which is uh, quite common with uh, these things but uh, yes I installed a proper one a cobalt solar one anyway um, I'm looking at upgrading the system because of course got an electric car now sorry if there's any uh, wind noise here got an EV, got the Hyundai Ionic, and uh, with the three kilowatt system, if I charge that uh, at home here, it's um, that's going to take 2.2 oh, kilowatts actually, so it takes most of this during uh, full sun, and I do genuinely get um, over three kilowatts from this system, uh, peak in summer like it is now, um, even though it's, you know, <laughs> just summer's just started here, none of that uh, winter Christmas rubbish, anyway, um, yeah, so unfortunately uh, the roof is uh, limited. I can't, I don't really have any more space here and on the front of the house is not EEV block, Mrs. EEV block approved. So unfortunately, um, we're just gonna have to uh, rely on the space that we've got available here. Now, um, unfortunately the uh, inverter that I've got is a three kilowatt inverter. It's a Sunny Boy inverter, but it's only three kilowatts. So I'm gonna need a new inverter, but hopefully got a uh, plan for that one so anyway um, we did actually extend the roof of the house so uh, in the well like four years ago or something so I've actually got room I've measured it up there there's my measuring tape got room for another four panels so I can uh, have up to um, 16 panels here now the thing is um lg this was top of the line when i got it 250 watts but lg their their new um like their r model gets up to 380 watts so if i actually replaced every if i put four extra panels on here and replaced every single panel 250 watt with a 380 watts um then uh, I would get a nominal six kilowatt uh, system. Well, the wind's really picking up now. A nominal six kilowatt system. Uh, but, you know, that's fairly wasteful. Um, so I, I thought maybe I could replace like four of them because I'm gonna have to split it into two strings. My current Sunny Boy inverter actually supports two strings. At the moment, this is only one string at like 450 volts. Um, so I could install a second string, except for the fact that I've already maxed out the, in the three kilowatt inverter so uh yeah that's kind of um pointless so i yeah with a new inverter i could maybe get a, anyway i'm uh, maybe more details to follow on the inverter I might be able to do a tear down of uh the new inverter that i'm uh, hopefully going to get so anyway and maybe a small battery solution from the same company who's uh who might uh, supply the inverter anyway talk's still underway on that but uh, yeah, so I'd need to split this into two strings anyway. No, I'm not going to go for micro inverters. Um, let's just, yeah, like, it's just not that big of a deal here. Anyway, it looks like I can get an inverter which will support two strings. So I'll split this into two strings of eight each. So I'll definitely expand this to 16 panels, which is the maximum I can fit on the roof. I can, may, uh, no, I've, I've actually measured it. I can't actually fit them down, like more down on the uh, roof like this, like like move these up and then have another row here. Um, it just doesn't fit, so it's not compatible. And you could, oh, maybe if you orient them the other direction, but eh, look, no, it's not gonna happen. So I'll put four extra panels on here. So I can either go for a four ki uh, six kilowatt system for have to replace everything, but we're talking like $600 a panel for those new 380 watt LG panels um so yeah that's just like seven grand right there uh there's no subsidies on any of these um at the moment i think there are for like new homes and stuff like that i think there are still some government subsidies available but anyway i can't get that but uh i at least have room for four more panels so i can go to 12 so maybe either replace the whole lot for a six kilowatt system i want opinions down below please 
watt for a six kilowatt system, or I can replace four of them to give me, with 380 watts, to give me uh, two strings of eight. So eight times 380 watts plus eight times the existing 250 watts. And I can sell the older panels because they're still very good. They'll last another 20 years, 10, well, 15, 20 years at least, I think. Um, they've been fantastic, these LG Mono Xs. Anyway, um, so that'll give me a total of a five kilowatt system if I do that. So should I go for the real expensive six kilowatts or the five odd kilowatt system? And the inverter I can possibly get is only a five kilowatt anyway. I might be able to get like a, then I have to jump up to like seven and a half kilowatt inverter or something like that anyway please let me know in the comments down below either way it's going to be an expensive upgrade um, so but back when we installed this this was you know three kilowatts seemed like a lot it's the uh, it's all the roof space we had available but now we do actually have the extra space so I can fit another four panels on here so Anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like the maximum I can do is a six kilowatt system, but that's much more expensive, significantly more expensive than a five kilowatt option. Of course, I could just put, um, I can mix, you can mix the 250 watts. I could have four 250 watts and four, and just buy the extra four uh, 380 watts. Let me know which one of those three options, actually, I'd be inclined just for symmetry sake, you know, and uh, upgrade it like five kilowatts seems like a nice round number for a system. So I'm more inclined to actually replace four of these panels with a 380 watt, then I'd have two separate strings, one for the 380 watts and one for the uh, 250 watts. By the way, uh, let me get my measuring tape back. Um, the the only shade we get is up this end, and it's only in winter time. So if we split into two strings, then uh, I've got some trees here which will just start to get a little bit uh, shaded. There, you can probably see a little bit of shade on the roof now, um, but because we're in summertime, it doesn't really do that. Uh, I get a pretty reasonably clean profile. Anyway, there's my whirly birds. Um, yeah, so let us know what you think in the comments and down below. What do you think I should do? The, go for the whole hog six kilowatts, go for the five kilowatts, or go for the cheaper ass, uh, but I don't know how many watts it is, but just get four brand new panels and that's it. Oh, that was a shadow there from plane going over here. Anyway, let me know what you think. Catch you next time.